Hello, family and friends. The Okra Dances set my timer. I've got a couple books I want to show. I got one in today. The seller is K A R E N L Y N N and the number eight. This was 99 cents, and I did pay shipping on this of $2.72 in shipping which was an extremely good deal. Altogether made this $3.71 for this book. Um, I don't have many books. I'm gonna cover up her address and my address, but I just love her labels, The Crow. Just awesome. At any rate, so um, I got this book and I thought to get one of this person's books for that price was excellent. I don't have a lot of books. I think I have a lot of like books I got from um, I have a ton of books I got from um, Dollar Tree novels. But as far as uh, um working books um, to, to, you know, educational books to teach yourself. Um, no, I don't have um, probably less than what you could count on two hands. Maybe even one hand. I don't have very many books. What I'd really, really, really like to get a hold of, I think they call it the Crystal Bible. Of course, I know you can look the shit up on internet. I know that. But so I just like, I'm old, and I like using books. And um, that I'd like to get that. I think it's called the Crystal Bible, where it's all on, jet, you know, the stones. Um, and then um, there's one other one, and it's the, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's for um, identifying you know, the wild crafted herbs, the wild ones in the wild, and to identify them, you know, so you know what you're looking for. Something that had colored photos, so you actually really, like someone like me that is a very visual person, I'm a visual learner, that um, I would love to get a book like that. I really, really, really would. Yeah. I think I checked it out one time at No Name Nutrition. Well, my sister did. I think she said it was 20 some bucks. It's like, ouch. You know. Um, yeah, so they, those are the two books I'd really like to get. I don't know if I'll ever have them it, to put out that much money at one time. I buy nickel and dime myself to death anymore. Uh, at any rate, this is from uh, Christopher Penzek Penzak Penzak I am butchering that name right there and it's uh, ancient wisdom modern spellcraft instant magic this is the back. It was thirteen ninety five US, fifteen ninety five Canadian, and it's a Linwell book, and it's a pretty good size. Well, actually, it's not a pretty good size book. This is probably so for someone that's got good vision. It's probably a one night read, but for me, it will probably take me two or three months. Like I saw one, I got it today. I can't see shit. I'm having a bad eye day. So not even with my magnifying glass and my prescription glasses. No. He wants me to go to bed. And he's been pestering me and pestering me. And he doesn't realize that he can go night night by himself. Now yeah, you go up. But um, it looks like, you know, um, uh, a pretty good, uh, pretty good book, you know, I'll just kind of 
flip through some things. Like I said, I can't see to read tonight. And it's disappointing because I was waiting for this and it came very fast. So I was very, very happy. And I thought for getting it for three something was a wonderful find. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the very few books and this is my newest purchase that um, that I've gotten because like I say, I don't have many. So I got an excellent deal on this book. The other book I got took for a ride on. Where is it? No, that's not it. Well, that I ordered, I don't know, a while back. Got it a couple weeks back. And I can't find it in there anymore to tell you the seller. Um of the book and I apologize for that for the paid full price like brand new price for this book but it's one I've not seen before and I am happy with the book so I don't care I have started reading on it it was $16.95 I think what the price of it $16.95 it was $16.95, and I flip and paid $16.95, but it was free shipping. Yes, I know. Stupid. What possessed me to pay full price for a used book? Well, at the time, I didn't know it was full price. But I was so wanted this book. I really, really was excited about it. But so far from what I'm reading, to be quite honest, and in the two weeks, I've gotten to page 25. Yeah, I know. And, yeah, I can't see this tonight, either. So far, it's just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue with it. There's got to be something good in this book for $16.95. But so far, um, it's not telling me anything I don't already know. So that's kind of the bad thing. That's why I don't have a lot of books. Because I find that to be the problem. Whatever they got in there is sub. You know, I mean, I'm not... I get them in hopes to learn something, and, um, yeah, I'm not having, but it does have some recipes in it now, so I don't think it's going to be a total loss, uh, it has, like, uh, apple salad, witch in the kitchen, magical cooking for all seasons, by Kate? Johnson? I'm not sure. That's how you say that first name. But it's got like, uh, oh, they're according to the, the, the season, seasonal. Like they got autumn recipes, so they have like apple salad, and there's an autumn cider dressing. That sounds good that I wouldn't mind making up, because that sounds I love apple cider. And then they got like sweet potato apple bake. Mmm. So you can say I dog eared that one because it's like I'll be going grocery shopping sometime this week. Where the kids take me? And uh, um, yeah. So um, They've got some recipes, so that could be a, a goodie there. But like I said, it will probably get more interesting as I get further. Smoky pumpkin soup. Yum. I love pumpkin. Pumpkin pudding. Ooh. Ooh might have to make that one. But at any rate, it has seasonal recipes. Which is, they, then they have like winter, you know, winter of fruits and pies and uh, then they have spring and 
they have um, um, summer and meditation and um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking uh, yeah so I, I mean I, I'm still excited about this but I just think I gotta get further into it for it to start you know getting me excited so I got that and I am working on it like I said I'm on page 24 so um, I got that one and I'm so sorry about not having a seller for it. And then one other one, I actually had my youngest son go by and pick it up. I ordered it and I, I told him I'd pay him when he brought me the book because they had one in at half price books and, uh, it was nine ninety eight, and, uh, uh, it's the uh, Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Penchex. Yeah, I don't know. I know I'm mispronouncing it. I'm going to have to see if I can hear someone say it sometime. It has meditation in it. And um, I, uh, this one, I'm kind of scatter reading on this book. I didn't start out at the beginning because sometimes I find the beginnings of books fucking boring as hell, you know? So I've been kind of scattering and I've been reading the um, the Kabbalah um, and dreaming and stuff like that. I've been reading on that because I would like to learn more about the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, the Kabbalah. Um, I know of it. Well educated in it. No, not really. Um, so this one is, um, if they get more on to the Kabbalah itself so far they have it, and I'm a little disappointed in that. I mean, they show pictures of it, and they talk of it, but they don't go into all this and that, and I want to know, I want to learn all this and that, you know, um, and that's something at my age, you would think so, because I'm soon to be a winter, and you would think I would know this, and I don't, in fact, actually, to tell you the truth, I hadn't heard of the Kabbalah until up to a few months ago, to be honest with you, but that's being honest. And it's like, what the hell's the Kabbalah, you know? So it's like, I started kind of checking into it, and I thought maybe this book would help me with it. But um, so far, what I've read is not answering or is not telling me too much. So I might have to get a specific book on that, uh, on the Kabbalah, maybe have to look for that and like I say that's embarrassing because I should know but that is something I do not know so I mean I, the tree of life is one thing I think this might I don't know if it's similar or different I'm going to find out though okay so yeah yeah I don't think I've really seen too many uh, videos that went into detail about the um, see it's this I want to know I want to understand uh, the diagram. <clears throat> I don't know what it represents. So, um, yeah, I am kind of actually going in. I'm going to be going into my winter here soon. And uh, you really would think that is something I should know, but that is one thing I don't. And I'm not going to lie, and I'll be quite honest. Um, and I know of a lot of, a whole lot of things, <laughs> a whole shitload of things, and a lot of different religions. But sometimes there's just something like this pop up and just throw me for a loop. It's like, what the hell? Where have I been all my life? You know? It's like, so, I don't know. But anyway, this came, re someone said this was an excellent book. And then he just gave it to me as a gift. He said I didn't need to pay him. So, 
um, when he went and got it. And I thought that was because I think it retails for $19.95 in the U.S. and $22.95 in Canada. You know, I hate that. When you bid on an auction, for uh, some reason I can't tell whether it's a Canadian auction or a China auction or a U.S. auction. Usually the day will let me know it's China. And then it's the Canadian ones that I'm having an issue with. Because it says one thing. Like 25 cents. But then when I actually go to pay for it, it jumps up in price. It's like, now wait a minute. It said 25 cents. And it just gets me. And that's like, it cracks me up because I was watching someone's video and it said, their Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five cent store. It's like, damn. And then there was something. Oh my, I forget. And it was in a video I did not too long ago that it was really expensive. It's like it's just I'm glad I don't have to pay those kind of prices. But anyway, so yeah. Um. So someone, I don't even remember. I'm sorry, dear cat case. This has been a while back and I can't remember said this was good. It said this author was good. So, um, at any rate, like I say, I might have two or three other books somewhere around here. And that one I'm just starting to read. Those two I just recently got. Well, one today and the other one about a week ago or yeah, about a week ago, I think it was. Oh, and I forgot to show. I knew I was forgetting something. On my last video, two um, stamping plates. S-N-M-I-K-E-777. S-N-M-I-K-E-777. 51 cents was for... Uh, oh, good gravy. Oh, I hate recording at night. I tell you, the lighting sucks. I don't know what to do about my lighting. This has a pyramid and camel and uh, Solomon's Eye and Hum, Hum, or however you say it. But I like too because it had these individual. Gosh, I hope you're seeing this. You know, I don't know how to make it. I bet now you're picking up the friggin' computer in the back. I noticed that and I tried to kind of forget to shut it off again. But that plate, and then there's one more. I want to show. Yeah, it's, it's, it is, I mean, to sit here and say I know so much and I do know a lot. I mean, I should at my age. And to get thrown off as something as simple and probably very common is that Kabbalah. <laughs> it's like okay, and that's only because I see someone mention that in a video. They didn't go into detail about it. And it's like this other one has the bucks. And that's what I was after. I hope you're picking this up. I really don't know what way to go with these. But maybe it's showing, because I know my little owls that I was just rapping about being adorable. Oh, this really gets on my nerves too, that 20 minute crap. Maybe I want to talk for 21 minutes. But you know, they didn't show up worth the shit. And I really, I don't know if that will help. Can you guys see them at all? Just how adorable those little earrings were. Gotta hope you can pick them up, because I know you couldn't see them. And then another thing I know you couldn't see, where'd it go? Quick, quick, quick. Is this phoenix pendant when I showed it and I'm like I don't know what to do about my lighting I just use regular lighting I can't afford you know all those special lamps and 
you know, like stage setting lamps and, you know, I just got a fucking floor lamp and that's it. 